that actually looks so cute there. Wow, okay, so really bold of me, but I'm actually filming in my college parking lot. I just presented my I just presented my neuroscience presentation, which I've been working on for literally forever, and I was so confident up there, and I haven't presented in like five years in person because of COVID. So, creds to me, and two things I want to point out today. First thing, Morgan Wallen canceled his concert. I was supposed to go May 20th. It is May 9th. That is 11 days. I was supposed to be there. Is that 11 days? Hold on. You guys know I don't know how to do math. <laughs> um, no, that is 11 days. So I was supposed to go there in 11 days. I was supposed to go to New Jersey and see Morgan Wallen. But you know what? He canceled on me. And it's, it's not funny. It's not cool either. So I had signed up for the pre-sale literally was fighting people online when the pre-sale had come out like before the general public was able to get the tickets and got like amazing seats for me and my boyfriend literally floor seats and it was an outside concert it was gonna be beautiful was just getting like my stuff together i got my outfit i got my cowgirl boot cowboy boots cowgirl i had my hat already but my baby is vocally unstable i'm just like explaining this but anyway, yeah, he's vocally hurt. <laughs> his vocal cords are not doing good, so his doctor told him to be on vocal rest for six weeks. Otherwise, he'll have permanent vocal damage. I don't know, but all I know is that he better reschedule because that was, like, something I was looking forward to. I was literally, like, that. Oh! I'm not letting it ruin my day and also I'm going to Barnes & Noble because that I need to turn my day back around because I did an amazing presentation But I'm still sad because Morgan canceled on me like it's so personal I feel like he canceled on me like I'm taking it to heart as if he like literally said like Julie I'm canceling the tour <laughs> Whatever we're gonna stay positive everyone stay positive and we are going to hope that he Reschedules. I've already seen him before, but I need to see him again And he just came out with a new album and he was going to sing his new album, but it's fine. It's fine He's going to reschedule. I'm going to get my seats that I originally had and it's going to be good Everything's gonna be good and you know what? I'm taking you guys to Barnes & Noble with me and we're gonna go buy a book or two or three We'll see anything to make me happy, but we'll see what they got in there I haven't been to Barnes & Noble in so long So this is well deserved and you guys will come along with me. So I'll see you guys in Barnes Okay, so my college campus is actually near Barnes & Noble, so perfect. Here is a pickle that I'm experiencing. I have never filmed in public, like never. And I don't wanna bring my camera inside Barnes & Noble. I genuinely feel so weird. I feel weird sitting in my car and the off chance that people can look in my car and see me talking to my camera like gives me the ick. Like, I'm sorry, I don't know how you people do this, and all creds to you guys, because I love watching you guys film in public. I love watching book store vlogs and, like, watching you guys browse through Barnes & Noble, but, like, creds to you, because how do you film in public? Like, I never care what people think about me. I'm not worried what people are thinking, but, like, if I have a camera, it changes the ball game, because then it's just, like, what is she doing? Like, so awkward so i think i'm just gonna film like low-key on my phone like so i'm sorry what <laughs> okay anyway i don't even remember what i was saying oh yeah so i'm just gonna film on my phone in there and just be like low-key and then we'll come back in and i'll come back on my camera in here because i don't care to film my car like you guys can look at me and like I'll get a little awkward and like scared, but like I genuinely don't care if someone's looking into my car and they're seeing me filming. But bringing my camera into the store is what I probably won't do. Also, I wanted to share a funny story just because I'm like just getting a little anxious that this man is walking around my car and looking at me. But for those of you that know, I obviously have like such bad anxiety, but sometimes it's heightened in like a social setting because I'm just like hyper aware of people around me. But one time I went to Barnes and Noble and usually every time I go here, I'm normally by myself. If not, I'm with my mama, my bestie. But one time I came here by myself and I was walking outside and there was this man 
and he literally said something to me and then was like like holding out his hand and was like saying like any money so like immediately like i didn't even know what he said i just like gave him like as uh, guys it's so funny because i had my purse on me i went in my wallet literally grabbed whatever i it could have been like a hundred dollar bill it definitely wasn't but like it could have been just because i was so anxious and just wanted to get out of the situation immediately g gave him whatever was in my wallet it, it could have been like a freaking dollar it literally could have been monopoly money but I got so anxious, didn't even know what he said. I was like, you know what, take my money. Like, take it and goodbye. All right, so now that I'm chit-chatting, I'm gonna go in there and I'm scared. I wanna film and I wanna show you guys. Worst comes to worst, I'm just gonna film on my phone, like really low key, and then I will come back in here and talk about the books that I got. I said books. I should only really be getting like one, two, or three. <laughs> I'm gonna come out here with like five books. No, it depends. Well, I don't know. We'll see what they have in there. I literally haven't been here in so long because I've been so busy with school. So I promised myself I won't come to Barnes and Noble until I am done with school. And I had a huge presentation today that went amazingly well. So I am blessing myself and buying myself a book or two or three or five. So I will be back. I love you guys. Oh my goodness okay <laughs> so many things to unpack here like literally oh <sighs> first things first I'm sweating because I had the honestly it wasn't like a weird encounter but like I think it's hilarious that I was talking about how I get anxiety in like social settings just because I'm like hyper aware of myself it was like the YA fantasy section and I was going through the Sarah J Mass collection because I want to start Throne of Glass that entire series but I know 
that there's a specific way to read it so there's like the purest way and then there's like the romantic way so i am reading it the romantic way so i was trying to find that section where it goes through the order of it if you want to read it in that specific recommendation order i looked up because i was just like not paying attention to my surroundings and i look up and there's this guy like literally staring at me and then like did like a little wrap around so then i was just like going back to what i was doing and then pretended to like look at these books and then came back and then came up straight to me so i was like ah oh, here it goes but then he was like oh i like your shoes and i was like oh okay thank you <laughs> And then he was like, wait, what brand are those? And I was like, um, they're Converse. Um, can you guys see my shoes? Okay, yeah. So these are the shoes I'm wearing. And, like, it says Converse on the side, but I guess he couldn't really see and he had pointed that out to me. He was like, oh, those are really cool. Like, I've never seen those before. I didn't know that Converse made styles like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, they're Converse. And then he was like, oh, okay, cool. Have a nice day. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Have a nice day. Thanks. <laughs> And then he was like really like kind of I guess what made me uncomfortable and like made me sweat like on it uh, Sorry if I'm like sweating through my shirt and you guys see this But the only thing that like made me uncomfortable is that he was just like not Keeping like an appropriate distance like he was like kind of like Like right next to me and like I don't get approached normally but then he was like gonna leave and then He was like in my proximity still and I was like, okay, what's going on? Like what now? And then he was like literally like so close to my face and he was like you look like a youtube star and i was like wait <laughs> not saying i'm a youtube star in the slightest bit but like i don't consider myself like a huge youtube star in the slightest bit like i don't even consider myself like a an influencer in the slightest bit like i'm just a content creator like i love to just post about my books and i love just like talking to you guys about books so like that's what i consider myself like i do not like i humble myself so you guys do not need to humble me at all but then he was like, oh my gosh, like you look like a YouTube star. And I was like, oh really? And he was like, yeah, Lex Rivera. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's what he said. And I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, you really look like her. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Like, I'm really not familiar with who she is. But now that I'm thinking about it, is Brett Rivera her brother? I'm pretty sure I know them on TikTok. But anyway, so I was like, oh, wow, thank you. And then he was like, no, like you really look like her, like your hairstyle and everything. I have my hair like in a clip like I always do and I was like oh thank you <laughs> like I was just trying to cut it short like I just didn't want any further conversation but anyway let's get to the books so many books so um I honestly didn't spend that much money I got five books and I didn't spend that much money I also renewed my membership because they are doing a new membership program thing in June and it's way more money but I honestly don't even know the benefits. He was like, this is gonna be the only option in June. So I was like, you know what, just give it to me. But I got a new card and yeah, it's really cute and pretty. I don't know if I should show it. Like, are you guys gonna be able to get my information if I show my card? Are you guys gonna be able to buy books on your own with my card? <laughs> Nur. So here's the card. I'm a premium member. But anyway, he gave me an option to choose between three of the different colors, so. I chose that one. I don't know. But why do I feel like it's so dark in here? Because the sun's going away? Can you guys see me? Um, yeah. So, let's move this over here. Maybe there's better lighting. Um, is it better lighting? I don't know. I'm literally sweating. I'm like red. But I winded up getting five books. I don't know if I've said that already. But I'm moving it back because I don't like it being over there. The lighting's way better over here, actually. What? <sighs> okay. I got five books. I don't need to tell you guys that again. But here are the books that I got. So, like I said, I was looking at the recommendation reading order for the Throne of Glass series. So, as you guys know, I'm getting into my fantasy era and... I'm trying to get more fantasy books. Basically, all of my favorite booktubers always recommend these fantasy books. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to splurge on some fantasy books today. And they were buy one, get one 50 off. So what better deal than that? So obviously I got the first two books of the Throne of Glass series. So like I said, I'm reading it in the romantic recommendation order. So I got the new covers and they're absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed with them and I genuinely cannot wait to read this series i've heard the best things and saturday mass is literally incredible and i know i'm going to love these books 
oh my gosh these covers are genuinely so pretty she had her own section in there and i tried taking videos of every section that i was in i did not get to film myself like walking around all cute because there was actually so many people in there and um i was like overstimulated so i genuinely didn't get to film myself like walking but i filmed me looking at the books and like picking up the books that i liked and also seeing my favorite books in store that's like the best feeling when you walk in the bookstore and you see your favorite authors and your favorite books and you just like want to and tell everyone to read it also oh my goodness there were these two girls that probably are like best friends and i was eavesdropping on them just because i was like right in their vicinity and they were like oh my god like I want to read this book, I want to read this book, I want to read this book. So every time they said that, like, my head was, like, snapping. And I wanted to see what book they were talking about. And they're probably like, who is this girl? Like, oh my god. But I'm nosy like that. And if you pick up a book that I've read and I'm obsessed with, I'm going to tell you about it. So they were actually talking about Happy Place by Emily Henry. And they're like, oh, this is the author for people we meet on vacation and beach read. Like, I want to read this. And I was like, I just want that book too. But whatever i actually did not talk to them i was a little scared and anxious <sighs> but normally i do say like oh my god you should definitely read that book and i don't know sometimes girls can be judgy so i was like you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep to myself today <laughs> but anyway let's go through the next books that i got really fun and exciting so these are the five books that i got today I'm definitely feeling better. Morgan Wallen, even though you canceled on me, I found a way to make myself happy today. The next books that I got are Love Wager by Lynn Painter. I actually, surprisingly, have not read a book by her yet, but I just keep buying them because I know everyone loves her books and I'm planning on reading her books in the summer because I feel like they're definitely summer reads. And yeah, I'm really excited. This is one of her most recent releases okay so this book is fake dating and i love me a good fake dating trope <gasps> i'm just now realizing that this matches with my shirt and also my face because i'm bright red because i'm still sweating so why did i just lose all brain cells maybe because everyone's walking out of the store right now and i'm getting over stimulating <laughs> Let's move on so this matches my shirt it's fake dating and i cannot wait to start reading her books literally <gasps> wait oh my god wait 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 <laughs> larissa's in here like in the back or in the front wait where is it both Haley, so Haley barber and Haley fam and then larissa are acknowledged in this book which is so freaking cool i love you guys and i'm so happy for you like what <laughs> that's actually so cool wait hold on but moving on, two new books that I just got. Literally, I see these books everywhere. And especially Ca Caraval, Caraval. I I'm not, I'm not going to be someone that mispronounces again. Okay, so anyway, Caraval, Caraval. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Don't come for me. Don't, don't come for me. This is the Caraval series that I literally read the back of it. And then I flipped to the front page and I was like, okay hunger games like nerve <laughs> do you guys know the movie nerve with um what's her name emma roberts she's in it but i don't know why i was giving nerve vibes if any of you have seen that movie like just the fact that it was like and whether caraval is real or not she must find hella before the five nights of the game are over a dangerous domino effect of consequences is set off and her sister disappears forever car car caraval Caraval. I'm gonna say Caraval. I don't know what I'm gonna say, but all I know is that I'm very excited. I need to stop. I actually have the worst headache also. Oh my god. I don't know. I think I'm just... I think I have like way too much energy and then when it comes to like when I'm done filming, I'm gonna crash. Do you guys know when you get like that? That's like most definitely what's gonna happen to me because I don't know why I can't seem to shut up and like want to go run around the block three times. But anyway, moving on to The Cruel Prince. So yeah, I see this book everywhere. I know this is like a fantasy series, but I know that it's not so much romance. So we'll see if I like it or not. These were the five books that I got. Out of these, 
out of these five books, I have PTSD because I'm like, are these four and not five? There's five of them. As you guys could tell in my last video, I don't know how to count. Out of these, I'm genuinely like tied when it comes to which one I'm most anticipating on reading, but I think Love Wager wins it. Just because obviously I'm a huge romance girly and I just think that this is going to be a perfect summer read. So I'm going to bring it to the beach and read it on the beach. And it's also pretty short. It doesn't seem that long. So I just love when it's like a short rom-com kind of book that I can enjoy on the beach on a summer beautiful day. A beautiful summer day. <laughs> okay, now like that's my cue to just shut the F up and wrap this up. It's time to actually stop talking and finally make my way back home and yeah. I'm so happy with these purchases. I definitely feel so much better even though I'm still depressed and I honestly think I'm in denial that Morgan canceled the tour because I really was getting so excited for it and it was such a perfect way to start the summer off but you know what we're gonna stay positive and he's going to reschedule. I'm going to make it to that concert and I'm going to have a great grand old time grand old time what's that saying whatever so yeah comment down below if you've read these books if you want to read these books i don't know let's just talk in the comments but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and this was a lot of me talking so sorry about that <laughs> i don't know whatever this is my first official barnes and noble vlog so i really do hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you want me to make more of these so that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you next time bye